Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Um, so we're going to be playing one more rotation proof deck. Uh, so basically looking at potential decks or archetypes that may have some legs post rotation with the caveat that we know that the new set will be coming out and account for about 20% of the standard pool. But what we're looking for is like seeing which decks might have some stability. So for example, Simic Flash, oh, sorry, the Simic Ramp deck that we played keeps all the cards that are currently in standard minus Line of Elf. So it's an archetype that kind of can still live on even if you start playing it now, where something like Nexus loses Nexus of Fate, so you can't really play that deck post-rotation. Um, so one deck that trying out to see if it still has any legs is Is It Phoenix. Um, we're losing Opt, Charter Course, and Tormenting Voice, which are the main engines in terms of getting cards into the graveyard. So it's a bit concerning in that case. Um, the deck itself, we're trying to optimize ways to get cards into the graveyard in alternative manners. So we still have Shock as our only one mana spell. Uh, losing Opt hurts a lot. Um, we have the core of Electromancer to reduce card cost, Art Like Phoenix, Crackling Drake. And then Finale is a way to cast multiple spells. Uh, Lava Coils, the removal spell that we s still retain in the deck. Radical Idea is a draw card that we can use with Jumpstart to put Phoenixes from our hand into the graveyard. And it gets reduced by Goblin Electromancer. Uh, the three drop slot, I'm trying Wing Words, which can effectively be a one mana draw two with a combination of Electromancers or uh, Flyers. Um, Chandra is basically like a Snapcaster Mage in the deck, allowing us to recast cards from our graveyard. And in a pinch, you can always just pressure your opponent with one ones. Uh, Ashiok is something actually I want to try out. Uh, it can self-mill ourselves while exiling the opponent's graveyard, so it turns off Search for Escanta, any of the command decks, so stuff like that. Its static ability also prevents Scapeshift from searching its library. So I want to try that one out. Beacon Bolt is a catch-all removal, and then we're using Discovery as another method to put cards into our graveyard. Uh, mana base is pretty standard, uh, with the addition of one Blood Crypt for the back half of Discovery on a fringe case, but also just to allow us to cast Ashiok, with a red source. Um, sideboard, you have Aether Gust and Fry for your color hate matchups. Flame Sweep is good against aggro decks as well as elementals as it doesn't target our flyers. Sahili's when we need to go wide and block on the ground. Uh, Ral's a good threat against control and also uh, reoccurring card advantage and removal. And I want to try out Niv, see if it's any good against non Teferi decks. It's one of my favorite creature cards. This might be better suited as more removal or maybe like negates or something. But we'll see how that one plays out. I'm going to play some ranked. Uh, it's the end of the season anyways today, so don't really care if we drop any further in Platinum. Um, this deck might change. I play, was playing a game against uh, four color elementals before the, the game froze up. Uh, it was okay, had some staying power, but I noticed the lack of one drop spells kind of hurt it. Mind you, I had a really weird draw where I drew four drakes, three phoenixes in my first nine cards. Um, so that kind of made it a little weird. So we'll see from there. Um, so I'll have this deck and all the other ones I worked on for part two of the article up uh, in the next few days on uh, Aether Hub. I started writing the article already, just waiting to finish it. And if you can, if you can hit that subscribe button, it is a free and easy way to help support the channel. Uh, if you enjoy this series, uh, I don't think I want the other radical idea. Uh, it is a great way to help out. It's my pandering. Uh, if you enjoy the budget build series, I will get back to them. I just want to wait till the new set releases and we can focus on that. That's why I've kind of in place played these. Um, so here we have the flexibility of just radical ideaing. Uh, this is Grixis. We'll see if they're on more of the control plan or how they're kind of approaching it. So they have Thought Erasure here, so I'm going to let them have their pick first. Chandra would be my guess. It's reoccurring pressure for the opponent. They likely have enough removal for Crackling Drake, but they might for whatever reason target Ashiok. But this would be my guess, or at least my pick. Grixis does have options of... Okay, so they want the Drake. 
Oh, this is five color Niv. Uh, so we'll just radical idea here. So I'm just gonna pressure the opponent if they're gonna potentially stumble on mana. And then we can go from there. We can try to get some Phoenix in the graveyard. Uh, so we did have the, Gul the Queen Golgari here. Okay, so... I think we just want more pressure. This plus is by three to three, so we need to kill this now. And then we can just lava a uh, radical idea away a lava coil. And then go from there. Can also get rid of winged words, but I think just the card advantage might be relevant. But we can see what the opponent plays out this turn. Niv? It's a Niv. So they get Teferi, Grosspile, Mortify, Othakaya, and Knight of Autumn. It's a hell of a draw. So we can double Lava Coil. So here, we can Ashiok to try to get stuff into our graveyard. They can tack it down. Can double Lava Coil, probably is the safest. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do that. Not the most exciting play. Our draw was very awkward. And then them having the thought erasure screwed up our subsequent play. Uh, got the Rowl as well. So we need a phoenix off the top. Hmm, they have the mortify, so Drake doesn't do that much. So we have finale. So let's mill ourselves. Okay, so we hit a phoenix, so we can get that back next turn. Want to get the land back here. So next turn we can finale for Ooh, winged words and shock. They can't search their library, but the Niv deck doesn't really search it. Actually, if they play Teferi, we can't finale. Teferi only lets you cast stuff at uh, sorcery speed where finale goes on the stack. Okay, well. We got a turn. I don't think there's a way we win this matchup. Interesting. 
Let's mill ourselves. Don't hit another phoenix. So we can draw a card, but we need this to... So... X2. We get back shock and lava coil. Shock Rao. Lava Coil of Ceratops. Nothing feels broken. We get back Phoenix. And just attack this. Lucky shot. So it takes down Rao. Gone through about half our deck, only seen one Phoenix. They can go Mortify here. They can go Teferi Bounce. Mortify probably makes the most sense. Or they can go Ceratops. They can tap properly and do, give it haste this turn. Do you have Mortify mana up? You will be haunted by this so they have the Spark, which is a lot worse than Mortify. So we can hit a phoenix to our graveyard. We can get it back. Okay, cool. So we can play out the Electromancer. Actually works. Because we can play out Electromancer. Oh no, that screwed it up. Ah, I screwed that up. I don't think we're getting the third spell. Yeah, I messed that up. In my head, we were drawing another card that needed to go to the graveyard. We needed to dig. My mistake. Uh, so in this matchup, Fry's probably relevant. Ral's relevant. Sahili, probably not. Aether Gust. Beacon Bolt's fine. Can probably get rid of the Electromancers. Mind you, we need to be more aggressive. Chandra can probably go. It's a little weak. Gonna go down a finale based on the fact that they have to ferry. I just dropped the winged words and the Ashiok. Just bring in Sahili. Maybe. Uh, if we're not comboing. We get rid of the Electromancer. Ashiok itself mill, just bring in the winged words for card advantage. It's, a, it's hard to uh, kind of sideboard against a deck that can play literally any card that's dual color. It's always easier to meta or to sideboard against meta decks than to meta against this, like kind of more fringe deck. Keep it. We don't have a threat but the fries seem relevant. We can also temple here to try to find something. No more lands.
Okay, so we have Arc Light. It is some form of threat. So we have Gateway Plaza. Okay, so it's not bad. Gives us something to do this turn. Um, I actually like both of these. Gives us the line for Phoenix. I could protect the the Drake from potential thought erasures here. Our hand is pretty redundant that if they thought erasure us, doesn't really matter. They can go Niv next turn. We do have a combination of Fry plus Shock to kill Niv. Niv being six power is actually quite relevant. What do we hit? The Spark, Ego, Ral, Teferi. Jeez. Yeah, so, um. Yeah. <laughs> They're just going to Ego away our Phoenixes. We do have to just see if we can apply enough pressure on them. The fact we have one in play helps. Come on, opponent. So I get rid of Ceratops. So that brings him down to 10. They do have Dispark that they can do and name Ego, but that's two cards out of their hand. So if they play Drake here, or if they name Phoenix, okay, that was their whole turn, so we can that one spell, so Niv doesn't kill it. Teferi could bounce it, but we do get a card draw off it. If we hit a land, it's also relevant. So we'll see. <laughs> like there's so many fringe cards. Like how do you play around an Angrass Fury Rampage to Spark? Alright, you know what? There's matchups. We're not going to win this one, so no one is more than might as well see against something that's an actual kind of tiered list. Run it back for more. So what we know is a deck that can draw like six cards with a 6-6 six, six flyer. Got to mulligan this is effective against us. Probably tuck the beacon bolt. I do want lands early. Lava coil is a good catch all removal on two and then we can go Ashiok to start self milling. Come on, opponent. Come on, opponent. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm overlooking anything.
I think the loss of a couple one mana spells does hurt, and like the consistency of Charter Course, like this hand with Charter Course is probably better than with Wing Words. We also, I feel, don't dig as deep in this deck. We are uh, hurting the rank a bit. Been playing a lot more like jank. Mind you, Mirror Marched Elementals was three and one on stream yesterday. Come on, opponent. Um, here, since we didn't see anything, we'll just set up another scry. No more lands, we want some spells. I think Breeding Pool is probably the most played duel now. Salt Eye, this, uh, every Nisa strategy usually splashes blue as payoff. Risen Reef has been quite a powerful card for the format. This opponent needs to hurry up. Fifty-one cards, so the Ashiok Mill plan on them won't really work. So I've done about nine decks now. Um, so I'll probably wrap this series up. If there are any kind of off-the-wall decks, kind of the more fun style, let me know if you'd like to see on the channel. Team or Agro. Keeps our life total a little higher. Oh, is this an elemental? It is. That's an interesting two drop. So, fortunately we don't have a way to kill the Risen Reef. But we did hit a Phoenix there. So if we can start digging for some spells, we can get it back. I need to try this in Elementals if I want to go more aggro. Ah, that's a lot of value. So the Flame Sweep Sweeper will be good. Here I'm just going to use Ashiok as a buffer. Helps us go four cards deeper. We hit another Phoenix. And so we have now, if we draw a Finale, it's live. Because we hit the Shock. We have two Phoenix in the graveyard. We're getting a lot of card advantage here. But not a lot of power. They, I mean, played a lot of elementals. If they play like another Scampering Scorcher, it could have a big impact on the size of their deck. Finale would be nice. Lava Coil Shock, two Phoenixes. Um. I think we can take an, just attack this turn, take this damage, and then play it back. If they have Omnath, it's not the end of the world. Interesting. Multani. Opponent went uh, a little bit more deep with the elementals. Okay, 
got 32 cards in deck. Oh, this comes in as a 0-0. Zero, zero. That's sick. That's really cool. Okay, we lost this one. That is very interesting. We need to try that. <laughs> Um, so Flame Sweep's really good in this matchup. Aether Gust. Uh, Fry. So just play more removal heavy. Um, probably go down. I honestly haven't liked Electromancer that much. Probably just Discovery. Get rid of the Ashiok. I'll get rid of Wing Words. Wing Words hasn't felt that great either. Um, Finale is a way to get itself back. Ashiok itself mill. Just probably. Oshandra's cut down one of these. Play one of these. So Healy's also tough. Because we need to control the board. You can play a couple of them. Try it out like that. We also haven't felt the need to bring a Niv into any of these matchups. Also 21 lands, that might be wrong. Another flame sweep might be right with all this aggro. Keep this. We can Lava Coil their play, play Phoenix, uh, play Sahili, and then protect it. Uh, we're more likely to draw land. So I'll keep this land. This gives us the option to play Drake following it. They just have the Lightning King, like the, or Storm, I forget the name, the Blue Red Haster. I'm just gonna go Sahili here. Two powers, I think the biggest haster they have at three mana. Uh, here. I'm just set up a Drake. It's more of a defensive Drake. I feel like there's better targets to Lava Coil, especially because it's our only removal spell right now in hand. Whenever another creature you control dies, you gain a life. Put a counter on it. So we do have the combination of making Sahili copy our drakes if they get larger. Scamping, Scorcher. I think we just go tempo-wise, put this on top. Trying a lot of lands here. Put it to the bottom, they did. So I'm gonna keep Sahili high for now. Extend the turn. 
So we're, we put a line to the bottom. That's six, eight lines. Oh, they have another sc Scorcher. So this will get bigger. I'm gonna do this in case they get the, the one that brings it back. Another Sahili. So I'm okay for this one to die. We'll just play this other one. Finalia Glory would be pretty good. We could Sahili plus Finale to get back both of these. Do you have the shock? We can shock this, block, block with Phoenix. Probably just hold the other land. Last turn. Take a defensive turn. Deal with their board. They're just going straight overgrowth elementals. Kill that in response. Just block like that. These get bigger, but if we can make, keep making chump blockers, it's not as much of a concern. So let's radical idea. Discard that. Uh, flame sweep's a little less relevant right now. We might be able to steal this one. We could have only copied one of our Phoenix and this wasn't big enough to just kill him outright. They don't have enough to target us directly. They have to deal with our board. It is relevant to kill these in future turns. Just gotta mute for a sec. So we got that one. I think we likely run it back. That was a pretty decent. Maybe get rid of the discovery. Discovery's card draw. Maybe go down, like Chandra from our removal. No, I think we run this back. So I'd end up feeling better with Sahili. So maybe we explore that potential. Killing overgrowth elemental is probably a priority. They gain the life, he gets bigger if we don't have Sahili. Everything else can get caught by Flame Sweep. So just waiting for the opponent. Hi. 
not sure what their sideboard tech is. Maybe some fries for Sahili. But if they're bringing that, they're diluting the rest of their deck. And they probably have fries in there anyways to get rid of Phoenix. So there may be a variation of this deck where you use Thunderkin and Tamio to kind of pump out a Multani. Do kind of like a reanimator style. Uh, yeah, I think we try this. Flame Sweep could catch us up, and then we can drop Sahili. And then Drake is another option. We are a little land heavy. This opponent is taking their time today. Fry's a nice pickup. No more lands. The addition of the scry lands has been pretty nice in this deck. Just smoothing out our draw. So no flame sweep doesn't deal with that. So we can fry this. I'm willing to take the two damage. So that's four damage, even if they have the Scorch Spitter. So that hits him for four, but we have Flame Sweep to clean up the board. Stop. Ral's a nice follow-up play. Hopefully get them to overcommit here. So five drop. So we're gonna do this before combat so they don't get the Scorch Spitter. Actually, we should let them bring it back. Drake's also kind of relevant. Uh, so here we're just going to keep dropping some Drakes. Lava Coils, decent. Two spells. Even with this coming in with Neoform. Sahili here. I will return. If I was them, I'd go all in on the Drake. We can just lava coil this. Land to be. No blocks.
We need to try to get this big enough. Flame sweep does nothing here. Four spells, so Rowl's not enough. Cavalier Thorns, also a pain. Uh, six mana here. Ral doesn't do enough. Oh, we got Fry. Block, block, fry it. We actually don't have a way of dealing with Cerulean Drake though, so we're on a three turn clock. That might be an oversight of the deck, but fringe anyways. Do they have? Yeah, we're dead. All right, opponent got it. So we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I don't think this deck's gonna be as good just based on the cards that we're losing. Um, if you have it, you can try it out, but I think we need to wait this deck more so to see what we get in the new set and then take it from there. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, Post my full article on Aetherhub once it's up, and if you can, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.